Hi everyone and welcome to this video where I'll show you how to plot Bollinger Bands in Excel. Bollinger Bands are a technical analysis tool which are used to indicate potentially overbought or oversold conditions and trend identification among other uses. They consist of a middle band being a simple moving average an upper band, which is a certain number of standard deviations above the middle band, and a lower band, which is some standard deviations below the middle band. Commonly, the simple moving average uses 20 periods, and two standard deviations are used to plot the upper and lower bands. In our example, we have daily pricing data for the Euro US dollar currency pair and we'll use the open prices to calculate the Bollinger Bands. First, we'll calculate the simple moving average using a standard 20-day period. In cell F21, since we need the first 20 data points, we'll calculate the average of the first 20 periods in our data. We can then drag this down to calculate the simple moving average for each subsequent day. In the next column, we will calculate the standard deviation, which will be used to calculate our upper and lower bands. We type stdev.s to calculate the standard deviation of the sample, and then select the first 20 periods in the data. Once again, we can drag this down to calculate the standard deviation for each subsequent day. To calculate the upper bands, we add the value of 2 times the standard deviation to the simple moving average like this. You can adjust this based on the number of standard deviations you prefer to use. For the lower bands, instead of adding, we subtract from the simple moving average like this. We can then drag both cells down. Finally, we can plot the bands and prices by selecting all the data. You can click Ctrl A to do this. We can then go into the Insert tab and insert a line chart. Let's change the position and let's also remove the standard deviation components as it's not necessary. We can then also adjust the axes. We can interpret it as follows. When the exchange rate is near the upper band, it may be considered overbought. And if it's near the lower band, it may be considered oversold. Meanwhile, the distance between the upper and the lower bands is an indication of market volatility, with the wide bands indicating high volatility. When the bands come closer together, then this is known as a Bollinger Band squeeze, and this can signal the potential start of a significant upward or downward price move. Finally, when the price breaks through the upper band or below the lower band, it might indicate the continuation of a trend. There are different ways to adjust the charts. We could instead use more than 20 periods, we could also adjust the number of standard deviations to calculate the upper and lower bands. Finally, instead of using a simple moving average, we may use another form, such as an exponential moving average, which gives more weight to recent prices. So that's how you can plot Bollinger Bands in Excel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for future Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.